Hello ladies and gentlemen, we have another top 10 for you. So, for those who listen to the podcast, you would know that Tom gives me the top 10s, and he has decided in his infinite wisdom, in inverted commas, to give me a challenge and give me a top 10 of things I don't like. So, here it comes. This top 10 is top 10 Tom Cruise movies. I am not a fan of Tom Cruise. I don't like his acting. I don't like some of his politics. So there's a lot of reasons why I dislike his stuff. And Tom has given me that topic to work on. I'm Shaky J. Like, share, and subscribe. I hope everyone likes and enjoys my pain for this video. As I said, this is top 10 Tom Cruise movies. <sighs> okay, here we go. So at number 10 is War of the Worlds. Okay, so for this movie for me, let's take a really great original movie, make a bad remake, and put an actor in it I really don't like. The only reason this even made it onto the top 10 is because, well, I've only actually seen 10 Tom Cruise movies. So that was a, uh, that was a very hard one to come up with to try and work out what was the bottom of the barrel for me. So yeah, they've taken War of the Worlds, fantastic concept radio show, made into a great movie, made into even a musical that was fantastic, and they made it awful. <sighs> Number nine is Mission Impossible. This is going to be a bit controversial, I say, that I don't like Mission Impossible. And this is not actually a diss on Tom Cruise for a change. It's more a diss on the fact that I'm not the biggest fan of spy movies. I didn't like the Bourne series. Not a fan of Mission Impossible. I'm not a fan of James Bond. But once again, similar concept. Take a genre I don't like, add in an actor I don't like as well, and... In the end, it creates something that ends up on the bottom of my top 10 list. Everyone else can be a fan of it, of course. That's their, that's their prerogative. They're allowed to. For me, just not my thing. And at number eight, and it pains me that this is a Tom Cruise movie, Jack Reacher. I was a big fan of the Jack Reacher novel series by Lee Child. Fantastic book series. Jack Reacher is a character in multiple books who is about... I think he's six foot five or six. Hugely muscular, ex-military, ex-special forces. Beats up men with relative ease. Also has the same birthday as me. And then when they came to make a movie, I'm like, oh, awesome, they're gonna do a movie. And they get Tom Cruise. A man who, in other movies, has had to get co-stars to stand in a ditch so he was taller than them and would keep his partners, as in like lovers and stuff like that, from wearing heels or platform shoes just so he wouldn't be shorter than them. It was a bad choice for the role and to this day it breaks my heart that they took a character like that and did that to him. That being said, they're apparently a TV series for him, so I am looking forward to that and hopefully they've got a better actor for it. And at number seven, one that I don't really dig that we have spoken about in our podcast is Tropic Thunder. Okay, first of all, Tom Cruise's part was blown out of proportion for me. Everyone talked about how funny he was in this scene and everything. And then I see the scene and I'm like, ugh, really? This is the thing that everyone has been talking about? I personally didn't enjoy Tropic Thunder that much. There's a couple of actors in it I love, and I love some parts of the ideas behind it. The actual movie itself, I didn't find it all that funny. I know other people who do, but I'm not a fan of many of Ben Stiller's movies, this one included. At number six, we have Valkyrie. Those who don't know Valkyrie, it's about Tom Cruise's character, who's a Nazi, but trying to assassinate Hitler. Great historical movie, and based in history, which makes it that bit more interesting. But to be honest, the best part of the movie is Eddie Izzard, fantastic comedian. And the main issue I usually find with a lot of Tom Cruise movies is that he is either, he's overshadowed by either another actor or something else in the movie itself. And you'll hear about that over the next couple of entries in this top 10. Number five, Rain Man. Rain Man's a great movie, but it's not great because of Tom Cruise. It's great because of Dustin Hoffman as the idiot savant character. That's not me judging, that's just what it's called in the movie. His ability to portray that character was fantastic, and Tom Cruise as his brother slash handler was... meh. Anyone else could have done that role. It was... yeah, could have been a lot better. Number four on the list is Austin Powers in Goldmember. I love the Austin Powers series. Goldmember was a bit lacking, but still quite enjoyable. They had Tom Cruise in it, but he was only in it for less than 10 minutes. That's a Tom Cruise movie I can get behind. The less of him in it, the better. Number three on the list, A Few Good Men. Amazing movie. Amazing, not because of Tom Cruise. 
Amazing because of Jack Nicholson. The man can act and he overshadows Tom Cruise in every step of the way. He is such a great bad guy. He is great, such a great psychopath. Jack Nicholson is the man Tom Cruise. Blech. Number two, Top Gun. Top Gun was probably the first Tom Cruise movie I've seen, and once again, he was av overshadowed in it by a lot of other things, mainly the aerial combat, but also Goose. Goose was the star of the movie. He was the funny one, he was the cool one, and when he died, I got upset. Tom Cruise died in that movie, I would not get upset. I would actually be like, yeah. Uh, to be honest, I would probably end up jumping up, on up and down on a couch. That's how happy I'd be. I would even actively mock Tom Cruise's character. <sighs> There's that rant over. And my number one, and this is actually a movie I actually really, really enjoy, is The Last Samurai. Once again, Tom Cruise is overshadowed by other actors' characters. Billy Conley in the first part, and Ken Watanabe in the second part. The Last Samurai is pretty much a retelling of the classic Dances with Wolves slash Fern Gully slash Avatar story. Guy goes in as an enemy, comes out as an ally, and protects it very simple sort of concept. If you haven't seen Last Samurai, it is an amazing movie. I think it is really good, but it's not amazing because of Tom Cruise. Like, he acts well in it and everything, but he's just... Uh, I don't watch it for him. I feel his role still could have been done by any other actor. I would have loved to have seen Keanu Reeves do that role. I think he could have done it so much better. And Ken Watanabe in it. Ah! Oh, he is so amazing as... A samurai who plays both a mentor, a leader, a devoted servant to his emperor. He is so, 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 so good. So good. Anyway, that's the end of the top 10. You may notice that I actually left Jerry Maguire off this list, mainly because I actually haven't watched it. My dislike of Tom Cruise is high enough that I haven't seen one of his most popular movies, or at least most quoted movies. Thank you very much for listening. Please check out our podcast, the Before It Was Cool podcast. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share this with other people who might like dislike Tom Cruise so they don't feel so alone. Share this with your friends. Share this with your family. Share this with your enemies. I don't care. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else out there, I've been Shaky J. Catch us next time.